to Informatica Power Center interview question and answers. Today we are discussing uh, at least 10 questions. So uh, the first question is query to split full name into first name, middle name, last name. So we have to split the name into three columns. So for that we have to consider this uh, for full name as a name column holding Ram Rahim Anthony. Now write below SQL query select substring so name is Ram Rahim Anthony name the one is the position in string name space whenever we are giving the space it takes that the position uh, one comma one means first position here this is we become here four four minus one is three so one two three we get the ram as a first name like we will get the this position as first and this this one is the position of this one we will get the rahim and as middle name and substring name in the in string name we are in the space after the second space uh, the total character we have to print so that is last name from the table name this is uh, uh, splitting one full name to three columns so what is md5 function which is a very important md5 is a hash function in informatica it said as a message digest algorithm it said as a message digest algorithm and has a many applications in cryptography so it returns a 32 bit hexadecimal number which can be a a to f and 0 to 9 it returns null if the input is null okay we have seen this in a cd type 2 md5 function in our video go through that video you know you get a clear idea about md5 function when we need to load only the updated records in target so this is uh, uh, the updated records in target uh, if if you want to see uh, if a particular employee id information updated or not so in the target uh, some particular employee number means 100 this particular employee id name is loaded or not so for that we are using md5 function so which gives an hexadecimal number so it will be a complex if you will compare the columns one by one uh, so this is benefit from use md5 here so it reduces the memory catch needs so if you see uh, our scd type 1 in uh, so we have to compare all the columns of source to all the columns of target which is uh, uh, very complex -ish, uh, scenario for uh, the rather than we are using md5 function it generates a number with that we are comparing so md5 is used in expression transformation which is used in the expression transformation is a syntax for the function so it will generate a 32 bit hexadecimal number for example it returns like this so we can use lookup transformation to see if any customer information changes so and you can insert updated information directly using update strategy next question have you worked in sprint basis or what is the sprint time in my current project we are using agile methodology agile methodology means splitting the uh, work into a small parts is called as agile methodology and we will follow sprints each sprint will have two weeks uh, actually every sprint is start with the wednesday wednesday for every sprint uh, scrum master will create the task in jira tool and assign the task for every sprint, Scrum Master will create the task in Jira tool and assign the task. I should complete this task within the sprint time. So in Jira tool, Scrum Master will attach the mapping document in the task and I will take that mapping document from Jira tool. I will understand the mapping document and, and will start the mapping so by using the jira tool we are having sprint and sprint time so every sprint is start with the wednesday and uh, and by this uh, this weekend week one and week two 
and week three of uh, Thursday it will close almost 10 days okay suppose if source file has junk suppose there is a mouse suppose uh, if source file has junk records how would you remove it source file has a junk records how would you remove it will you remove it before importing power center or after importing power center so we can do the both the ways so we can you both the base mentioned in the below remove junk characters before importing to power center so we can remove the junk characters from your source file uh, by writing unix command or shell script and call that in pre-session command task in informatica power center okay next next scenario we are having remove junk character after importing power center after importing source file we can remove junk characters by using expression transformation we can here we do with the expression transformation after importing the power center so before importing power center we use a unix command or shell script in the pre-session command task okay next how to achieve a cd type 2 without end date and what will happen a CD type 2 can be implemented in three ways that is date effective logic we should have start date and end date to the implement this logic so flag logic we will use flag column to implement this logic next we are having version logic so we will use the version column to implement this logic so in the our uh, videos we did all the three methods with practical uh, if you go with that you can get more idea so if you don't have end date, what to do? Then we go for flag version logic, flag or version logic to implement a CD type 2. Next, are you comfortable if you be in place to big data management projects? Yes, as an informatica developer, I am having very good experience on informatica projects. If you give me some idea or KT, so KD is nothing but knowledge transfer, which is a document we'll have regarding about the project. So about the big data. So by using the knowledge transfer, we can see and uh, we can know uh, which is there and which is uh, which format is there and which everything is in the uh, document. So I am happy uh, learn and work. What output files? does informatica create during running session so which is very big question so whenever there is a session running there is a various output files that can be created in informatica server such as session log file bad files catch files and output files so if you want in detail please read the below so the following are the files created by power center server so power center server log means informatica power center creates log for all status and error messages so uh, it also creates an error log for error messages these files will be created in informatica home directory next we are having session log file so Informatica Power Center server creates a session log file for each session. It writes information about session into log files such as initialization process, creation of SQL commands for reader and writer threads, error encountered and load summary. The amount of detail in session log file depends on the tracing level. So next we are having session detail file also this file contains load statistics for each target in mapping session details include information such as table name number of rows written rejected this file can be viewed by double clicking on session in monitor window in monitor window we will see performance detail file we are having performance detail file this file contains information 
known as session performance details which indicates wherever there is a need for performance improvement to generate this file the performance detail option in the session property sheet has to be selected so we have to select performance detail option in the session property sheet session property the sheet has to be selected reject file or bad file this file contains the rows of data that the writer does not write targets so failed and everything will be going to store in the reject or bad file control file so information power center server creates control file and target file when running a session that uses the external loader that uses the external loader so the control file contains the information about the target file such as data format and loading instructions for external loader post session email the post session email automatically communicates information about the session to the designated recipients there are two messages that are generated first when the session is completed successfully secondly when the session is has failed so we are having indicator file when a flat file is utilized as a target the power center server can be configured to create a indicator file for a flat file it should be indicator file can be configured for each target row the indicator file contains a number to indicate whether the row was marked for insert update delete or reject output file if session writes into a target file the power center server creates the target file based on file property centered in the session property sheet catch files when the power center server creates memory cache it also creates catch files the power center server creates index and data cache for following circumstances okay thank you please subscribe and like my interview questions and if you want to any practical sessions go for my videos thank you thank you very much